how to record epic cinematic shots with your Android phone. At the moment, we're filming with the S24 Ultra and the most cinematic gimbal on the market, the Hook M6. The tips are universal, so it will work for mostly any Android phone. The frame rate that will give you the buttery smooth footage is 4K 60 frames per second. When you film with gimbal, the footage is smooth, but when you slow it down a bit more, it's getting buttery smooth. When you visit Epic Viewpoints, don't forget to get with you an extension rod. It's ultra cheap, 15 to 25 dollars, and you can do epic review shots and epic low angle shots. You can use the same technique for fast moving subject and it looks amazing. When you switch to PTF mode, you can combine low angle push shot with an orbit shot and it looks really interesting. But they don't tell you how to make it epic. The trick is to introduce foreground. The foreground are all the bushes and trees you can find around you. They will make your shot very dynamic. Here it is how it looks. The next epic shot is the push tilt. It's ideal to record gigantic buildings that don't fit into frame. There are two ways to execute that shot. The first one is to put the gimbal in PF mode, hold it horizontally, switch the joystick sensitivity to low. Before you start filming, adjust your starting point, the phone to point down. With two fingers, pinch the joystick and push it halfway while you're slowly walking. It takes a couple of tries, but the shots are epic. The second epic option is to record a person, for that one we switch the gimbal in PTF mode. And go! The most epic shot that rules them all is the dolly zoom and it's ultra easy to be executed. In the editing application, create a keyframe in the beginning and at the end of the video. After that, just zoom in the white shot. We can't skip the orbit shot from the list because we have the ultra wide and the ultra telephoto. There are three ways how to execute the perfect epic orbit shot. First, we start with the fully manual way. To get the buttery smooth shot, you have to reduce the gimbal sensitivity and the gimbal motor response. In that way, you get more precise control over the rotation. The second tip is to start the movement from far away. Like that, you have time to synchronize your walking speed with the rotational speed. To achieve very personal moments, switch to 5x or the 10x lens. That will make the world spin around your subject and it looks that the time just stopped for them. Beneath the starlit sky, our love secret line, like leaves we soar so high. The second option is to use the AI tracking of the Hukem. Just show the OK sign and the gimbal will automatically start tracking you, which will allow you to do the perfect orbit shot without inserting any effort.
The third option is to use the tracking from the gimbal application. It can produce pretty good results as well. I prefer having full control and operating the gimbal manually. Boring tracking shots, no problem. Let's take it to the extreme, turn on the 5x lens, lock the exposure and reduce the gimbal sensitivity to low. The telephoto lens has amazing reach and you can experiment with the elevation. For the next shot I am staying one floor down. Running with the gimbal can create very dynamic shots. For the best result tilt it to 45 degrees. In that way the gimbal absorbs the most amount of shake. See you in the next one. Bye.